It is God who has put people within the boundaries of their nations and has established their borders. God says that he's made nations and he's made borders. So the God of the Bible has established nations for a great purpose. It's the greatest betrayal of the American middle class and frankly, American life. Our country has as a whole, nobody's seen anything like it. People are pouring in, but we've stopped them. I'm not opposed to immigration. We need immigration, we know that. But we, we need to know who's coming into this country. When I came to the United States, I paid for my own airline ticket. I paid for my visa to get my visa. I paid for all my medical bills. I had to go and take blood tests. I had to be stuck in needles to make sure I'm not bringing any diseases to the country. And I did it gladly because that was a part of the price I had to pay to earn the privilege of being an American citizen or becoming an American citizen. And then I had to study a two inch thick book written by the daughters of the American Revolution about America's history. By the time I became an American citizen, I knew more about America's history and heritage than my American born husband did. I've been to a ceremony where people who went through the right channels were sworn in as Americans and it was, it brought tears to my eyes. It was beautiful. They were proud to have assimilated they were proud to be a part of America. They wept, they cried, it was beautiful. When you work for something so hard, you appreciate it, you value it, you treasure it. It's your prized possession. For those of us who did it by the book to come here, we work so hard, even harder, to show people that we were worthy of you accepting us into your culture. So for those who say, oh, you know, you're a racist, you're anti-immigrant. I'm a brown-skinned woman, from the Middle East, my mother tongue is Arabic. I came to this country. I did it the legal way, the right way. Those are the type of immigrants we want to bring into the country. People who can become a part of the American fabric.